Hi everyone, so recently I had to make an essential trip from Edinburgh to London in April 2021 whilst the Covid pandemic was still ongoing, so I thought I'd share my domestic flight experience with you so you know what to expect if you had to fly too. As always, if you find the content useful or valuable, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button, it really helps my channel reach more people. So I flew with British Airways and had my flight time and also airport location change three times as they were trying to maximise the capacity of each flight. The date remained the same, luckily for me. I think this trend will continue for a while until more people start flying again, so it's definitely useful to have some flexibility around your travel time. There was a good summary of what's changed on their website, I'll put the link down below. Unsurprisingly, about the face mask. They do encourage you to use the BA app to check in and also to load your boarding pass. For domestic flights, you are asked to arrive two hours beforehand and international is three hours. In one of their emails, they mention how they do more regular cleaning and also about their HEPA air filters on board. The check-in floor was pretty empty, just a handful of people. I went straight up to the departure lounge. You still have to fit all your liquids into the plastic bag, one per person. There were lots of hands-free sanitizer stations dotted about the airport, so you don't really have to bring your own for the flight, unless you prefer to. There were no queues, so it was straight through security. Unfortunately, the machine beat for me, so I had to get patted down. This happens every time, no matter how hard I try. The water dispenser station just after duty free is still running, so get your free refill here. You'll be glad to know that duty free shopping is still running. At this point, all the other shops will still shut. The essential shops like WH Smith, Costa Coffee and Cafe Nero were open. I got a coffee from Costa and managed to sit down at their tables after checking in using the QR code. They were selling food too. When it was time to board, I was actually surprised by the number of people boarding the flight. People generally did keep their distance and also masks on. On boarding, you are given a sachet of hand sanitizer gel and wet wipe. You are required to keep your mask on throughout the flight. It did make me feel slightly nauseous after a while, so I tried to sleep my short flight away. Now, this is where social distancing completely went out the window. Everyone was pretty much shoulder to shoulder. I was also disappointed to see how little effort BA had put into the seating arrangement. The seats were three on the left and three on the right. Behind us, there were three people in a row. On my side, it was just me and a girl, but our seats were put side by side when it could have been distance with a seat in between. Across us, there was a girl sitting all alone. I felt that they could have thought this through and separated most people with an empty seat in between. The flight wasn't full. The logistics to arrange this may be tricky, but they could have made an announcement allowing people to move if they saw the opportunity to social distance better. The rest of the flight was pretty uneventful, thankfully. Disembarking was done in sections, so there wasn't a big rush. There were people in Terminal 5, but it wasn't too busy. I took the underground from Heathrow into town using the Piccadilly line. It started empty but gradually got busier towards town, but I could still social distance. It was a domestic flight, so no quarantine was required. And that's all. I hope you found that walkthrough journey with me useful, and if it brought you value and if you liked it, remember to hit and like the subscribe button and I would be so grateful. See you in the next video. Take care!